Uh, this is a rat's nest. Now, to get to a capacitor, I've had to move a big thick cable out the way. Now, to get to a capacitor, I've had to move. A big I'll thick show you in a minute. I'm just just walked back in from the store, so. We'll get my soldering iron on in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. I have literally got. I have literally got just one centimetre space to get to this thing. I have literally got. I literally got just one centimetre space to get to this thing. Let me just mute that echo, which is annoying. Right, let me just get my pointy. I'll get this straw. Right, uh, right. <coughs> now, I've got to get my iron, iron, my soldering iron, basically down that direction there. right to where it touches that PCB at the back that is how tight this is right so there's that huge wiring loom and I have got to get down that crack down there let me shine this other torch down because it's the light doesn't get down there very good but it's basically right behind that grey with a red um, sleeve on it. Let me get the straw out of the way. Um, right, there's a there's a grey wire, and with a red sleeve on it. And get the damn camera lined up properly. Okay, um, can you actually see that? Right, okay, you can see that now. Um, there is a, there's a switch right there, right? And I can't, I had to move it in here. There's two little solder connections which you can sort of see just behind that um, red. Um, sleeve that's on that wire right and there's a hole in the circuit board there's a tiny little hole in the circuit board that is directly where the capacitor is now this is how tight this is now the thing at the top is a CRT right and the thing on the right is a switch the thing on the left is obviously the circuit board and this is how tight this is now I've managed to move that wire um, this long loom here out of the way about two inches I pushed it across to the top of the switch so I can just about get in there I can just about get in there to get this um, let's see <coughs> to get this red capacitor out which is bad because it's obviously dated 1971 like the others were but um, that is the only capacitor electrolytic that is the only electrolytic that I haven't changed that isn't one of the big power supply electrolytics that, that's th this particular electrolytic is on the trigger circuit and that is why I'm having, I've been having a lot of trouble with my triggers circuit my trigger not working very well because this capacitor is pulling the voltage down as well as well as the rest so HT voltage capacitors are okay. There's some blue ones under here which are in series and they're high voltage, so they're okay. Uh, they're for the CRT, and I'm not going to mess with those because um, each one of those is rated at 450 volt, and there's the three of them in series. So each one of these is 50 microfarad, and in series, 
they actually work out at five microfarads right when they're all in series so and that's basically for the CRT uh, I'm not going to mess with that they seem to be okay and these big power supply capacitors down here seem to be okay um, if they weren't I wouldn't be getting no power at all and I'll be getting ripple and I'm not getting ripple so I'm just going to leave them alone leave them alone on uh, the, like 2200 microfarads as well they're quite big big chunky ones so um, I don't think there's, there's a need to change them out and I think the scope is on its way out anyway there's not much life left in it and um, I think the CRT is probably going to give up before they they do let's face it those big red capacitors have been in there for 48 years they've been in the scope for 48 years which is how old this is I think they're going to last another three or four years I think which is probably longer than the, the CRT is going to last so anyway I'm uh, just trying to um, let me find somewhere to clip this camera actually uh, let's see if I can get this camera in here I don't know if I can because I'm, I might need the space for my soldering iron well on, actually I might be able to get it in because I am not going to be able to get my soldering iron around where the camera is because um, it would obscure my um, it would obscure the soldering iron would basically hit the chassis so I don't think this camera is going to be a problem so I am going to try and get this camera so you can see what I'm doing um, oh that's a good shot actually that's pretty well lined up let me get some blue tack on this camera so it, it stays uh, actually I'm going to use some tape alright let me just have a look here uh, I have a bit of Captain tape on here let me just pull a bit of that off I've left a bit on this right if I can just stick this Captain tape on there on the camera it should hold it just a minute right that's not bad that's not a bad camera angle you're actually going to be able to see me while well, I've got the solder iron down there it is very tight down there let me get this light down there right basically right there so that big thick black wire you see in front of the camera is the HT wire it's the EHT wire t high tension cable for the CRT but that's not that's not going to be a problem it's not going to block me so I'm just going to leave that I might actually put some more tape to hold that a bit out of the way if I can get the tape to stick I don't think it's going to stick on here very well now can you hear me alright Oh, that tape's not sticking on there. <sighs> I'll just, um, I know what I'll do. I'll get an elastic band or something. Yeah, that's probably going to be better. Um, I'll get a nice long elastic band. See if I can actually just tuck this wire out of the way. So I've got this rubber band around the back. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, it might snap as soon as it hits so much sharp. Uh, I want to get this wire up, up a bit more if I can. Um, I just want, it just gives a bit more room to see what we're doing. Uh, I need some uh, strike, a bit of wire actually on here. Ah, I found a bit, that will work. Right, so if I took that down there again. Uh, this is kind of awkward. Um, so I'll just get the wire around the other end first, because I can't seem to... Uh, I'm just going to wrap that way around there 
I'll feed this wire through here. Right, I'm just going to pull that rubber band and I'm going to, oh, I'm not actually around the wire. I'm just going to come all the way around like this. twist around there doesn't have to be really tight that, that'll do it's holding the wire up that's all I want I just want to keep that wire away from my soldering iron because I don't want to melt the HT um, I mean if I melt the insulation on the HT cable that is going to be extremely bad news because I'm going to have sparking between the metal case of this CRT cover because the case is, cut, is, is steel I'm going to have arc in between the cable and the steel I don't want that happening that's why I'm tying that cable back right that looks a lot easier to get to actually that does look better but I've got a, a nasty feeling that um, that capacitor that I want to get out I have a nasty feeling that it's actually soldered onto this wire on the other side uh, I can't really see at the moment but I think when once I get it might not be it might be just very close to that cable but um, that's obviously going to the switch or something or I don't know anyway I've got to basically get to these two connections I'm going to have to tilt this scope up a bit higher because I can't see, I, I, I'm bending my neck down and I don't want to be bending my neck down. Um, I need to find something to put it, this on to lift it up a bit more. So let's see, what can I use to lift this? You won't notice the difference because the camera is actually clipped inside the scope. That's a little bit better. Um, yeah, the, when the because the camera is actually clipped is inside the oscilloscope, your perspective won't change. Now the light is blocking my view now. So are you watching Hyde? Uh, I've got to get this soldier iron turned on. Uh, actually I want to eat something. I want to eat some food first. I'm starving. I've just been to the store. i got some food. Um, this is just balancing actually on this thing I put underneath. But I think that's going to be good for getting in there. I really need to put this light lower. No, actually that doesn't work. I need to get this light, actually. Closer, really. Um, so that my, I don't get my hand between the light and what I'm looking at. Now that's not bad. Yeah, I think I can work with that. Uh, it's pretty bright, actually. But... Now I'm going to I'm going to get my iron with it cold. I'm not going to turn the solar iron on just yet, but I'm going to just see if I can get in there with it off rather than melting wires. And it's a bit of a challenge this because I, I honestly didn't think I could get to that. I um, a few weeks ago I thought well there's no way I can get to that but then I realised hang on that wire I can move it a bit and uh, thank god for that now if I get my soldering iron now basically it's not on yet now I'm going to be I'm going to be hitting this wire right here so what I need to do 
is put some captain tape around this wire so that I don't actually melt it yeah I can get to the I can get to the connections with my soldering iron only just but this flipping red wire here is in the way now I'm going to get my narrow nose pliers and see if I can move that wire just bend it a little bit out of the way let's see now this is where I might knock the camera let me just move the wire on the other side or something let me just try and get this wire out of the way so I don't knock the camera Way. Can I move this red wire? I'm locking the camera, sorry. Can I get this red wire? Just bend it, I see. Um, if I bend that wire up, oh, this is really hard work. Um, my, my players, are, I'm just this lamp is in the way. I get this wire up without breaking the circuit board. Hey, that other end of the wire, is it broken or not? I don't want to break it off the board. It looks like it's. I think it's soldered on, it's just. This is very tight. nearly impossible actually I can't pull that wire it's too short um, you know if I if I force that wire I'm gonna snap the I'm gonna snap one of the connections off and then when I have a hell of a job soldering that back on Sorry if my audio is very loud, I better turn it down a bit. I'm right next to the I'm talking right next to the camera, that's probably why. Turn it down a bit. So I just it's so tight in there, I just can't get in there. Yeah, I haven't put the iron on yet, but I'm still just trying to All I can do really is push that white one back. I think I can get to those solar connections you know and when I get this capacitor out I think I'm going to leave some nice long legs on it I'll leave some nice long legs on it because then if later on I scrap the scope I can just clip them off and take the capacitors back out again because it's just so difficult getting in there I need to eat some food first. Right. Sandwiches from the store. And while I'm eating, I'll think about it. Just have a think, see if there's anything else.
Well, there's one consolation when I sold a new capacitor in. I can literally just stick this solder over the edge here and solder onto the directly on. So I don't have to have two arms in there. I can literally just stick the solder over this top edge to get the solder onto the component. So that's one thing. That's a good thing. It's near the edge, to be honest. Because there's no way I'm taking this damn thing apart. I'd never rem remember where all the wires went. <laughs> Well, I'm going to mute the sound until I finish because I don't hear me chewing and dashing. <laughs>
I seem to be having trouble with this stream. Mine's gone black screen here. I had to put the audio back on. I don't know what's going on. Is everybody else still able to see or has it gone blank? seems to be still working. I opened it in a new window. Is that live now? Is it working? It yeah, it's working. What the heck is wrong with live stream these days? I just don't know. I'm going to put some. Um, I'm going to put some protective material on this cable so I don't melt it. Um, uh, I'm going to get a bit of captain tape, I think. I don't know what else I can use because um, it's heat proof, so it should prevent me from melting the insulation if I, I happen to accidentally touch that cable so I'll take about three inches which should be more than enough and looking at where the kit the mic the sun nine has to go it needs to be it needs to be right over this bit here. So I'll put that captain tape down on there. I should be able to avoid melting that wire. I need to back the light up a minute because I can't get my hand in. Because that solder iron is going to be in there for quite a while. And I don't want to melt the insulation on these wires because the the signal wires. Right, I think that should do it. And get my light back in the right angle. <sighs> now it's hard to see. Oh, what's this, what's this on? Uh, right, okay, so he's live. Um, chat, um, let's see, uh, what can I do with this? No, uh, I hate this light, it's just, it's blocking me, and I need to get it in a different angle if I can. Right. Will that will that work? Let me just 
I haven't put the iron on yet. I'm still testing just angles. Yeah, I think that'll work. Right, I'm going to turn the soldering iron on. And fingers crossed that I can get this damn capacitor out. <laughs> I'm going to wait for that to warm up about five minutes. Right, I'm just gonna. I've got soldering iron running on my inverter right now, so it's not running on full mains. Uh, basically, that means it's actually running at a cooler temperature than it would if I had it plugged out in the mains, which is an advantage because it means I'm not. I'm. I've got less chances of melting wires, but it'll be hot enough to get that to, that capacitor out. <coughs> And I can hold it and pull at it from the other side at the same time, so that's something at least. It's easy, it's actually easy accessible from the left hand side when you're pulling at it, but it's just very, very hard to get the soldering iron on there. The only thing I can think of is to try using my torch as well, but the camera's there. I could stick the torch in my mouth, but uh, I don't think I want to do that. Um, actually, I could put the torch at the bottom like this. That would help the light a bit, because it is hard to see. If I stick the torch underneath... Uh, now I'm going to knock the camera then if I do that. Actually, if I rest it right on this case, no, that's not going to work. Uh, I'll just have to hope that there's enough light I can see right now <coughs> sorry about copying near the microphone because I'm using the mic in the camera right now the camera is like one foot away from me If I get that light any closer, I'm going to be melting my lamp. <laughs> right, let's see about tinning the sword now and see if it's hot enough. Oh, if you see any smoke, it's not, it's not, it's just the iron. Oh. Right, okay, the iron, the sword, the iron is tinned. Right, um.
Now let's um, get my finger on that capacitor now, which is up here. And I'll see if I can melt, what get one leg softened up. Yay! Come, I've got one leg out. Yeah, it's got it. I've 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 got it. No wires. I've got this. I've got it out. God, <coughs> getting another one in is going to be tricky. Now, this capacitor is um, 4.7 microfarad. Oh, damn it! I dropped it now. It's um, 160 volts. Oh my god! It's a high rating. 4.7 microfarad, 160 volts, and it's got 1974, 11th week, 1974 on it. 11th week. Don't even see that. Oh. Sorry, the light's a bit bright. I'm probably too close. It's probably out of focus. But it's, um... It's got 11th week, 1974, right where my fingernail is. So, I need to find another high voltage cap really for this I think it's 160 volts so <coughs> I should have some I'm going to measure it on my meter Okay, right. So, finding. I don't think there's 160 volts across there, though. I am going to check that um, capacitor, see what it reads. I'm not going to move the camera because I've still got a solder in the other new one and um, I might not get the camera in a good position if I move it now so huh. well it actually reads 5.89 microfarad but generally speaking, if a capacitor reads high, it's possibly it's got a short in there. So <clears throat> I would strongly believe that this capacitor is leaky. Capacitors rarely ever read more than what they're specified unless there's a problem with them. <coughs> Let's stick it on um, DC ohms and um, see if it's actually got a resistance across it because it probably has so I haven't got this on camera right now well it went over limit so that's a good thing well, let's try the megabyte mega oh it's dropping oh it is leaky this capacitor is left definitely leaky 
because I stuck it on mega ohms, 20 mega ohms on my meter and the resistance is dropping so it's actually got a 13 or less mega ohm resistance across it, it's dropping rapidly now so it's leaky, yeah it's actually going to be about 10 megs resistance on it and it shouldn't have, it shouldn't be that leaky So it was a good thing I took it out. Uh, now I need to clean up those solder um, pads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some fresh solder. I'm going to tin the pads with it fresh solder then I'm going to use a solder sucker to clean the holes out oh actually I can see through the holes right now the holes are clear one of them is clear but the other one's not <coughs> so if I just um, make a little L bracket shape with my solder I can come over the top of there so I can get onto that pad I need to have a bit extra on there I need to be over the other side I need to just tin those pads a bit <coughs> let's see if I can get to it shot anything out. Uh, it's difficult getting the solder in there. <coughs> right, where's my solder sucker? I have to suck it from the back though because I can't suck it from the front that's for sure and I can't get my solder sucker in there no chance in a million years you know what I'm good thing I put that captain tape on because I can see I've actually melted that wire a bit I've scraped it though because of the captain tape's been there. Oh god, I hope it's alright. It should be. Should be alright. <coughs> right, let's uh, get my solder sucker on and uh, <coughs> try to keep that straight. in my eye in a bit. I could solder the capacitor at a different location actually. But I still have to clean up them pads because I don't know anything shorting out. I can't see a damn thing. On the other side at the moment. I 
on the other end clear now. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> okay, I can see light coming through the other side now. I don't think there's a shorter uh, there. I need to check with my meter. This is going to be this is going to be tricky. Let me just check that capacitor again while it's discharging. See how much leakiness it has now. It's dropped right down to. Five mega ohms. <coughs> it's going back up to about eight. Yeah, I was. I think I was pretty accurate when I said it had a resistance of about ten mega ohms. It's slowing down. It's at ten mega ohms now. 10.4, 10 10.5, 10 10.6, 10 10.11. Be bear in mind, I had my meter on it before it was dropping, so <coughs> it's around 12 mega ohm resistance, and that's with my meter at extremely low voltage. So I would hate to think, I would hate to think how much of a a resistance it has with it's got <coughs> like 20, 30 volts or something across it. Probably quite a lot. Now, I I think I can measure this circuit from the back actually without actually um, so I don't want to have to uh, this is uh, this is very hard to get it I think I'm just going to get find another capacitor solder it and then check it for shorts because um, Checking it now is pointless because once I put the capacitor in, I could cause a short then. So it's best that I, I put the capacitor in first, <coughs> then check it. I have to find one as well. I need a 4.7. Well, I don't think it's really a high voltage on that set on there. Looking at the um, schematic, I've got the schematic in front of me. And according to the schematic, it's connected between. It's connected between. It's on a resistor, 5.6k resistor. Actually, there is 110 volts coming in, so. On that rail, so. Yeah, I'm gonna need. Um, I'm gonna need at least a 250 volt or 400 volt capacitor in there. So I'm gonna have a look for my capacitor box. See what I can find. I found a one microfiber, which is a little bit too small. Microfiber so look a bit too small. I need something bigger than that. Let's see what's this one? That's 16 volt. That's no good. Found a 47 microfiber at 250 volt. That's just a little bit too big. Actually, it should be all right because it's a smoothing capacitor anyway. So let's have a look at what this other one is. Um, found a 
147 microfarad at 100 volt. That's still high value. I don't really want something that big. I want 4.7 or a 10 microfarad or something like that would work. Let's see which one. What's this one? That's too small. Too small a voltage, I mean. Uh, what's this one? Uh, 470 microfarad. That's so good. She's finally in a capacitor now, which is. Uh, a 350 volt one. I ordered some um, one microfarads recently, but that's another one microfarad, so that's no good. Oh, so another one microphone. Ah, let's see, what can I do? What can I use? What's this one? That's too big. Uh, Just have to stick that um, 47 microfarad in there. At least it's rated at 250 volts, so it's it's nice and chunky. And it's not very old; it's uh, fairly new. The question is, is the room on the board, but I can't leave the legs long, that's the problem. I'll see what else I've got. Oh, I found another point, 160 volt. These ruby cones are not very good though, they're crap. What's this one? I prefer this other one which I've got, which is um, made in Japan. Uh, Japan um, I forget which brand it is can't even see the anyway the fact it's got Japan on it tells me I'll probably go with that one it's a bit big 47 microfarad but that's um, better to have a bigger one but it's a, it's a power supply decoupling capacitor so it basically filter, it's a filter capacitor so it needs to be quite big really and based on the other one reading five microfarads I don't think it's going to be a huge issue I found some 50 volt ones let's have a look um, what's this one 100 microfarad that's not good that's way too big and too small a voltage um, 22 microfarad, 35 volt, that's no good. <coughs> I really want something that's got long legs on it if I can find one. 47 microfarad, 50 volt, that's no good. I could put two of them in series, but that would be pushing it a bit. What's this one? That's 60 volt, that's no good. Uh, that's another one microfarad. That's not one voltage, you know. 350 volt, that's good voltage, but it's just too low. Uh, right, what else have we got in here? Ah! I found a 450 volt, 4.7 microfarad. There we have it, and it's made in Japan. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that one, and it's a radio. <coughs> right, I'll use that one because uh, it's the right value and it's got a good voltage, and it's a Japan one, so I can't.
can't complain with that. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the fact it's radio. It's a radio capacitor, which means I'm going to have to mount this. This is the one I found. Uh, 450 volt, 4.7 microfarad, which is the right value. Uh, made in Japan. And the legs come out the ends, that's the only problem I don't like, but that's okay, the legs are long. Um, so I can I can easily put mount that horizontal vertically I mean. I can easily mount that vertically and that's no problem. Um, the only thing I don't like is the ground wires look a bit short. Um, let's see if I can get a bit more of that wire. I think I've used it in something actually. Probably use it on some test thing. I think it, yeah, it's it's gonna work. It's gonna work because I've bent that laid over. Uh, it's a bit sharp, but that's gonna work. I think. Mm. Uh, so I'm gonna have to thread that in in a minute. <laughs> well, you know, ha ha um, Hyde, I don't know if you're listening, but you know, with all empires and with um, California being in such a, a disarray, many businesses have gone up in smoke. So I don't think Rusty's going to be too keen to drive his motorbike through what looks like a wasteland, because that's basically what he's going to be doing. It's not going to be a pretty sight, and also seeing people crying in the street because they've lost everything. It's and Rusty's too busy. He needs to. Anyway, at least if he moves out, it, somebody that's lost their home is going to have somewhere to move. <coughs> so he'll be going. He'll be doing something good for the folks who have lost some, everything as well. Good karma. Oh, it's terrible though. What's happening there? Right, let's see if I can get these legs through. Right. That seems to want that seems to go through. The legs are just too long, we have to trim them off first. Right, I'm just gonna I need to check this capacitor actually before I put it in just to make sure. It's good, because I've had it a long time. Uh, yeah, it reads good. Right, as it what's the leakage like on it? Check the leakage on this new one I'm putting in as well. Um, uh, right, got over twenty, got over two megs. So let's try it on the mega ohm range. Well, it's good, it's not dropping. I like that. <coughs> it's not dropping, so that's good enough for me. I've got to get the damn thing in the hole now. Positive, negative. I need to put some sleeving on that, actually, because on that so it doesn't shot or anything. So I'll 
I've got some heat shrink sleeving which I'm going to put on that long leg. That's um, That was lucky that I had at this. It's very lucky that I had this capacitor just right there. Oh, I need to uh, heat shrink that sleeve on. melting the, oh sorry, heat shrinking. Right, there we go. I think that's working. I'll put this bit of heat shrinking on one side just so it doesn't connect to anything it shouldn't. Mm. Uh, let's get this in the holes. The legs are just a foul apart, they're quite hard to get in the hole. Mm. Our hole wants to, it is clear, so. that wire look a bit further that way because it's a tight fit. Mm, I didn't get as long legs as I was hoping for but uh, it'll go in. Right there we go. I've got I've got the legs in. Now I just need to um I need to hold that while I get one end soldered in. You might be able to see the wire sticking out the back there. I should have soldered these. I need to solder and tin these this capacitor up first, actually, before I put it in. It will make life so much easier. I just have to tin the wires on it. That's it. Right, I've tinned the wires. Get down the hole. <coughs> Come on, you bugger. I've got to get this one. I can't see the other, the other wire. Where's the other one? Get in the hole. I can't see the other way, I'm just wiggling it about to see where I am. Which way am I actually looking at? Is it the positive or the negative? I'm just going to stick something, some wire through so I can see uh, 
where the, where the holes are actually coming out because I can't tell. Right, that's the positive end. That's the positive. That's the negative. Oh, I see, the negative is right at the back, right. So a positive and a negative, right. I couldn't really see. Ah, uh, see, it's at the back, it's behind that other one, so... Right, if I get this positive, let's see if I get the negative one first, if I can. I need to shorten that red one, that positive one, it's a bit long. <coughs> oh, damn it. Come on, you bugger. Is that better? I can see the other one. I need you see if the, the wire at the front is really long. I will I'll have a job trimming it off afterwards, you see. And I want to get my sword knife in to both connections without having to trim them wires off. So that's why I'm trimming them first because I really wanted to make the wires longer, but that's not an option right now. I need to I need to tune that one again. I'll to trim these once they're in because I can't get my pliers in there. It's too tight. <laughs> yeah, the fumes are making me cough. It's, it's all this bloody soul there. Crap. Is that going to work? Yeah. I can see both. If I can see it, I can get my eye into it. Right, let's see if I can solder the back one first. Well, it's on because it's not coming out now. Talk about a tight squeeze. This has got to be the toughest sword you I've ever done. Right, I've sold both of those connections, I think. Now I've got to check for short circuits. I have to uh, actually I want to get my mirror. I've got this little mirror thing. It's a tiny angle I can see behind. Hopefully I can get my mirror in. Actually no, I can't even get that damn thing in there. But this is how impossible this is. Okay, let's 
Dat is een 